So at this point, we have access to a Linux server. Now this could be a physical server or a VM on your laptop or a server in the cloud. In the last couple of videos in this series, I showed how to provision an Ubuntu server on AWS, then access it from, our, from Windows laptop. And in this video, we will get into the meat and potatoes of downloading and installing the required software so that we have a functioning SDN lab. So the overall flow I will follow is I will install Git, Maven, Java Runtime Environment, and Java Development Kit. All of these are prerequisites to download and install the software that we are interested in. I will then use Git to clone Open Daylight Controller with OpenFlow 1.3 plugin from the Open Daylight site. Helium distribution was released recently. So that's the version that I will use. There is a base version without the OpenFlow 1.3, but this is a, an important feature. So I will, I will download and build the one with OpenFlow 1.3 plugin. It uses more compute resources from the server, but we have a large enough server that we can handle that. And I will use Maven to build and install the controller. And finally, I will install Mininet which is an essential tool to simulate forwarding plane in the lab. So let's go to the server and here's my terminal window. I will be using advanced uh, packaging tools since I'm using Ubuntu. Uh, the short is APT and whenever we are uh, going to be installing software using the APT tool, it's a good idea to first update the repository This command will just update the latest versions that are available for packages that can be downloaded and installed on the server. So there we go. Now let's install all the prerequisite software, Maven, Git, Java Runtime Environment, and Java Development Kit. So, let's see. Yes. Okay, so we are done. I actually stopped recording while it was downloading and unpacking the software packages. It took three minutes or so for it to be done. But now we are ready to, one thing I'll do is I often on my servers, there are so many different distributions and controllers. I like to keep them separate. So let's do this. I will make a directory called Helium OF13. And this is where I will clone the Open Daylight controller with OpenFlow 1.3 plugin. And I will use uh, git So this last part, uh, if we change that to controller.git, uh, then it will download the base version if I remember correct. And there it is, it's pretty quick. This new uh, directory that was created. So let's go there. So the, you, we see this pom.xml, that's the file that Maven will use to build and install 
uh, the software. I think it's pro project object model markup. Um, so we do a clean install. Okay, so it's done. And as you can see, I stopped recording. It took about two minutes and 20 seconds to build the Open Daylight controller and install. Now we have Open Daylight with OpenFlow 1.3 plugin. And we can actually, let's just go to the home directory and let's do the step of uh, installing Mininet. Um, we have Mininet, we have Open Daylight with OpenFlow 1.3. While we're at it, let's do one more thing. You can see how easy it is to install. Install software packages. I'm going to install Xterm on this, on the server. If you remember on the on the last video when I was installing Putty, I had also downloaded Xmeng on the client machine. Whether you are using VM on your laptop or you are using this server a server in the cloud, if you're using Putty to access the server on the client machine, we'll need Xmeng, and on the server, we'll need this this package Xterm. This will allow us to open additional windows. Uh, right now we have just we have just one terminal window with X term we can open multiple windows terminal windows and then can do different things in different windows so let's just do that yes and that's it basically we have everything that we need in the next video I will start up the uh, daylight controller instantiate a, a small forwarding plane just so we can see how it works and we'll go from there